Hey guys, Jaws the Shark Refuse here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers Legacy Evolution Deluxe Class Shadow Striker. So, here she is in her car mode, and yeah, so this is the first Cyberverse Universe, uh, yeah, that's what it says on here on the box, um, the first Legacy character to be from the Cyberverse Universe. Um, that <laughs> sounds weird, Cyberverse Universe. Um, but, um, yeah, that's, that's weird to think, because, I mean, it hasn't been fully two years yet since the, the show ended, so, um, the fact that, you know, we're, yeah, characters from that show and, uh, Legacy now, it's kind of making me feel old. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, but anyways, uh, so yeah, the first character they decided on was Shadow Striker, um, but, um, yeah, but before we talk a little bit more about the figure itself. Let's take a look real quick at the packaging. So here it is. Uh, yeah, it looks very nice. So you, know, you got the alt mode uh, artwork there. And this is where it says Cyberverse Universe, by the way. You got Transformers Legacy Evolution. Uh, you got the uh, QR code. So if you want to scan that, oh, let me focus better on that. Yeah, if you want to scan that, go ahead. And the side here, you get the robot mode artwork. Um, the head's in kind of an odd position, just looking to the left, here's a kind of more full look at it. <clears throat> and on the side we got the Legacy Evolution artwork here, at least half of it. And on the side we get the, obviously the back, and um, yeah we got the Evo Fusion gimmick, it, it, it's pretty stupid. <laughs> that, that's why I can't wait for Legacy Evolution to end, which I think this is the first figure of um, the last wave of Legacy Evolution, so um, yeah, I, I'm, just, I'm just done seeing these Evo Fusion things because they're, they're really pointless. But um, yeah, there we got product shots here, and then 18 steps, all this right down here. And on the bottom, you got this this not a whole lot, and that's it for the packaging. So let's bring Shadow Striker right into, back into the picture. So, um, so yeah. Uh, now, as you can tell, this alt mode isn't that fully accurate to how she appeared in the Cyberverse cartoon, and um, but there is a reason for that. Um, I mean, I'm not justifying the fact that you know they didn't make her fully accurate, you know, it still would be nice to have a full, or at least mostly accurate, uh, Shadow Striker figure, since, you know, um, she didn't really, she didn't get a deluxe in, uh, like a, like, a, I don't know, I don't even know if she got Warrior figure in Cyberverse, but, yeah, she certainly didn't get a deluxe figure, so at least she gets one now in Legacy, but, um, but yeah, the issue is, she's not accurate, and, uh, but what's interesting, though, um, and I think we all know this is coming, this is clearly a pre-tool of a future Legacy RD2001 sideburn, because, well, this is obviously his alt mode right here, you know, especially with the grill over up here. And um, even the robot mode, you can kind of tell, looks a lot like Cyburn's robot mode. So um, I guess that's exciting news for um, fellow RD2001 fans. But, um, but yeah, what we got here, you know, isn't too far from how she appeared in the cartoon. It's just, you know... You could tell this is meant to be more so of a cyber figure. It is they happen to make, you know, uh Shadow Striker out of it. Um but yeah. Anyways, got all the real detail up here. Does look nice. Love the paint. Yeah, I love the headlights too. It's that nice teal. It's like a metallic teal. And yeah. Um there could be a bit more paint, I'd say. I mean, hey, at least they did paint the uh tail lights there, or at least these ones. And I love what they do with the wheels. I mean, well, first of all, I do hate that they're clip-ons, but at least, you know, they paint kind of like the rims and stuff, similar to how, you know, a lot of the characters' wheels would appear in Cyberverse. Um, so that's cool. And yeah, the bottom, pretty clean. <laughs> it's kind of rare to see, uh, you know, barely any robot junk. I mean, obviously you can see the legs, but it's all folded up and stuff, so it's, you know, you don't see the head or anything. Um, well, I mean, well, the head's right there, but it's, you know, it's, it's hidden and stuff, so... Um, yeah, not too shabby. Is this down all the way? Gotta make sure. Oh. <laughs> but, um, you know, I don't know if it is, but whatever. Um, so yeah, uh, pretty neat looking alt mode. I'd say this is the best of the two, uh, modes for this figure. Um, because the raw mode, well, 
we'll get into the robot mode. Um, but for now, um, yeah, so that's pretty much it for that. Uh, yeah, really love, again, love the alt mode. Um, so yeah, now anyways, for accessories, well, actually two of them are being stored right now. So, uh, one of the two is used here for the bumper. Um, it's a removable piece. We'll see that during the transformation. And then this whole area right here is also removable. So again, we'll look at that later, but one of the, the one accessory you don't need attached to, you know, to her in order to complete your car mode is her gun. Now this is pretty accurate to how it appeared in the Cybers cartoon. I remember it had that kind of weird look to it, but I think it's pretty cool, pretty unique. Um, so you can attach that right up here on the top. Um, you could also put it right back here. So it's a little more hidden. I mean, it's it's there, <laughs> it's, it's just kind of hanging out there, but yeah. But for me, you know, I typically love to have like the guns right on the top of the car on the roof. I think that, I, I just, I don't know why, I just kind of love that. kind of makes me feel like I'm in a James Bond movie or something. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so there's that. And, uh, yeah, so anyways, now for the alt mode size comparisons, we'll just do one quick one right here with the Cyberverse Deluxe Bumblebee. Um, so yeah, I, do, I, do, I will say, she does fit in uh, pretty nicely, you know, with uh, one of the actual Cyberverse Deluxes. Um, but, um. Yeah, there's that. And that's it, yeah, because uh, I don't think I own any other, well, actually, well, I do own, like, that, what was those Scout Class ones? I do own that one, but, you know, it's, 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 it's Scout Class, if you remember the alt modes, on, or alt modes on those things. Um, and I used to own, like, that, that I saw, but I used to own, I think, was it the, what was that called, the Ultra Class one, but I think I sold that one off. But, um, do I regret it? No. <laughs> Honestly, I still do think we got better figure right here. Despite not being 100% accurate. But, um, yeah, so anyways, that is it for the alt mode. So now let's get right down to the transformation. So starting off, boo parts forming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so what you want to do is you just want to remove the... Oh, that's not the... <laughs> I don't want to remove that. I want to remove the holding. There you go. So you just want to put this back in here. Um, so there's that, uh, so this is one of the accessories, I guess you get a better look right here. And, uh, yeah, it's all clear plastic here, but it doesn't feel brittle or anything. It feels pretty solid. Um, and then you also gotta remove this piece, uh, attaches right in this hole, just if you're wondering. And now we got the Shadow Striker herself with all the, um, the parts put on her. <laughs> um, honestly it doesn't look... That bad, I mean, you can obviously the hands and, oh, the, well, the face is there. But honestly, you know, if you lose those parts and just, all you gotta do is just flip around Shadow Striker's head, and it doesn't look too bad without it. I mean, well, obviously, in back here, it's, yeah, but, I mean, if you look from the front, it doesn't look too bad. But anyways, um, so, um, it's a parts forming example that actually isn't that bad without the parts. But, so starting off, you just want to lift up the arms right up here. And then next, you just want to untab the door areas like so, and just move that all back. Then next, what you want to do is you want to untab the feet from back here, and you just want to lift this kind of forwards, and there you go. Then flip down the foot, and this foot as well. And now you got the legs right there, so let's just put the camera here. Um, so yeah, now anyways, next up what you want to do is you want to just bring up the chest piece right here. And you're going to want to flip in these pieces right here, and also flip in this. And then you just want to close that up. I think that's as far back as it goes. Let me just double check. Um... One. There we go. Oh, you just want to flip it all the way there. There we go. <laughs> I kind of did that bit wrong. And now, I think you could push that. Ooh, <laughs> that didn't sound good. Hold on, let me check if that broke. Okay, good news, it didn't. <laughs> it's like, that was a loud snap. I'm like, uh. <laughs> um, yeah, just want to make sure. Just got this figure actually yesterday, so want to make sure, you know, nothing of <laughs> this broke. But anyways, so then next, you just want to bring down 
this piece right here. And uh, well, in the process, you want to move out the uh, arms this way. And then, there you go. And then next, you see, I want to close this all in. And then I'll snap into place. And then bring down the arms right here. And flip down both those pieces. And once you got that all completed, there you guys have Shadow Striker in her robot mode. And, um, yeah, like I said um, a bit earlier, uh, I will say, yeah, the, the, the alt mode is the better of the two modes here, which, you know, is kind of rare for me to say, because, you know, typically, you know, I love the robot modes more than the alt modes, but this is an example where it's vice versa. Um, and, uh, yeah, there, there's... You can tell there's some issues already right here um, with that. I mean, it doesn't look horrible, but, you know, um, I just think they could have done this roll mode better. Uh, it's it's definitely more fit for Cyber than for Shadow Striker. I mean, um, proportionally, I think it works, but um, I think the chest looks a little too big. Um, and, yeah, there's other things uh, we'll take a look at, but. Um, yeah, first of all, here's the head sculpt. Love the head sculpt. Uh, definitely, I think, the best one we've gotten for Shadow Striker uh, thus far. Because, you know, the other ones are just from those gimmicky lines. This is like the first premium quality sort of Shadow Striker that we got. After she was done dirty in the uh, Starverse Deluxes. I mean, that's what happens when they uh, took too long to start that. I mean, they didn't, they didn't begin that until like the third year of Starverse. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So yeah, gray head sculpt, um, paint, yeah, you could, yeah, she could use a little more paint, um, legs, I guess, are fine, uh, well, the arms, the forearms got some silver paint, or it's kind of, well, the, the Decepticon only goes silver, but there's, like, this metallic purple used right here, uh, that does look pretty cool, um, the legs have some black paint, so that's nice, yeah, it would, it would be nice if there's just a little more paint, um, no paint for the feet, uh, on the back. It's got a little bit of a backpack here, but it's not too bad. Um, so yeah, uh, yeah, paint oh, and also, uh, right here, there's some good paint, uh, around the kind of abdomen area, sort of. Yeah. Um, so paint-wise, it's, she's not too bad, but, um, but yeah, some of the designing, I think, have been done better, and, well, one area in particular, I think you guys can already know what this is, unless if you don't, um, <laughs> the shoulders. L look at how they're done. This is kind of weird. I mean, it's not as weird designing as, let's say, like, 86 Hot Rod or, um, Rise of the Beast, Bumbley, or not Bumbley movie, <laughs> Studio Series, Rise of the Beast, Stops on his Prime. Um, like, with the, the shoulders, I will say, like, movement-wise it's better, but it's, it's kind of weird. <laughs> it's, it's, like, connected to these things here, and, you know, I mean, it doesn't look too bad, but, you know, it's still, yeah. I mean, if you put our arms, like, completely down. Well, first of all, they can't really go completely down because of how the legs are, but it just looks weird. Kind of, She kind of looks like an NPC, actually, if, if you just have her like this. Um, but, uh, I mean, like, angled, yeah, like this, it looks fine, but down here, she's just an NPC. <laughs> um, but, yeah. But, uh, I mean, aesthetically, though, I mean, she's not too bad, but anyways, let's get right down to the articulation. So, starting off, yeah, the ball joint at the head, so it can move side to side. And it can move up and down, actually, because of the way this is done. So that's pretty nice, so we'll say that. <laughs> you can do the, the little bird head, actually, no, not really, but... Um, so yeah. Uh, shoulder movement, but against that weird one. That, that That's... If, if you put her arms up, that kind of looks a little awkward, especially like this. Um, and they can move forwards, but not backwards, I get that, that's another, like, that's one of my major complaints with the, the way the shoulders are, like, it, I mean, it looks weird, but I'd say that's probably the worst part, it, they can't really move back, the arms, <sighs> yeah, some of the designing on this was kind of bad, <laughs> uh, bicep swivel, though, um, a bend at the elbow, uh, wrist swivel, uh, a waist swivel, legs can kick up this far, um, if you move these pieces up, they can go back that far, and then they can also go outwards that far, and then a swivel here at the thighs, uh, bends at the knee, although, um, you do have to kind of untab these here, because, you know, they tab in for transformation. Um, and the feet do go back and forth, and she does have an ankle pivot, so that's good. 
Um, so yeah, not not too bad articulation except for the arms. I mean, well, even the arms aren't that bad. It's just it's, it's just you know they can't move backwards with the way this is. So yeah, some of the design was a bit poor, uh, poorly done in my opinion. Um, again, mainly really just the arms I'd say were poorly done. Um, hopefully they're not like that on Cyber, and they probably will be. But you know, uh, it's still worth to hope that they're not. But um, but yeah. But again, overall, she doesn't look too bad, except for, again, like the arms. And they look a little too far back, that's the thing as well. If you look from the side, they look a little far back. Um, so yeah, I don't, I don't know, she kind of looks a little weird. I mean, I know she was kind of a weird design in Cyberverse, you know, with all the Frankenstein parts and whatnot, but I don't know. <laughs> this this is kind of a new level of weird. I mean, maybe not as weird as how she looked on Cyberverse, but, um, but still, you know. A little, a little odd to say at the least. But anyways, for accessories, you know, she's got her gun right here. And so yeah, now she, you can give her that. And for the Evo Fusion gimmick, you can just put this right in here. And again, that that this this looks horrible. I, I can't wait for these <laughs> Evo Fusion gimmicks to come to a stop because they're, they're, they're just bad. <laughs> Rarely you get some good ones, like, um, you know, some of the Armada ones, but... That's it. I, I have a feeling that's the only reason they made that is just so you know they could give an excuse for the um, the Armada gimmicks. Uh, besides that, not really anywhere else in the store that well, you could put on the shoulders, but or maybe this one. Um, but there is there's a reason why I'm yeah no it kind of doesn't work. But the other one can hold this right here the uh, the roof of the car. And you can put that right in there, and yeah it looks. Kind of dumb, um, but it doesn't look as bad as some other accessories that I've taken a look at before. Um, but the Evo Fusion thing is really bad. It's, you take the bumper of the car and stick it right in front of the gun. That, that that's it, it's it's bad. Um, but you know, with the accessories like this, eh, she doesn't look too bad. So um, yeah. But anyways, now for the robot mode size comparisons. Here she is with Deluxe Bubbly. I'd say they do scale pretty nicely, but I think it would be nice. Um, one of the things I hope for, and um, you know, for the future Cyverse figures and Legacy, besides you know, having new molds instead of you know just um, having a pre-tooled figure. Um, but besides that, I hope that they you know um, do the proper scales this time because that that was one that was probably my my main issue with the Deluxes and Cyverse is that. They ain't scaled too good. I mean, I think I'm pretty sure this Bumblebee's taller than the Megatron that they released, and I think part of the problem with that is because they're deluxe. But honestly, though, even then, I don't think that's a good excuse because in like even you know uh, Legacy and stuff like with the Minibots, they have like the the scale. Even though they're deluxes, they're like almost half the height of the rest of the deluxes and stuff, or maybe not half, but like three fourths. They're a couple inches shorter. Um, and, and they're the same price point, so I think they could just do that for Cyberverse, and, and it's not going to be too, it, and, you know, the, the size difference wouldn't be as drastic. Um, I, I, I don't, I don't know why they did it like that, but they did, but, um, man, they scale, you know, these two do scale good, but, yeah, hope, hopefully we do get, um, other new Cyberverse figures and Legacy, um, and again, hopefully they're not just pre-tools and stuff, but, um, yeah, so there you guys have the robot mode size comparisons. And there you guys have my review for the Transformers Legacy Evolution Deluxe Class Shadow Striker. And, um, I don't know how to feel about this one. <laughs> uh, we'll see, the alt mode's pretty good, um, you know, could use a little more paint in some areas, but I got a lot of these, you know, Hasbro Melee figures don't have a whole lot of paint, um, you know, that, that's usually kind of the point of premium finish, uh, which is obviously what Takara does, but, um, but, you know, it'll still be cool to see a little more paint. I'm not, I'm not saying that she, you know, that they should sleep as is, you know, there, there's times where they definitely need paint, especially, like, for example, Studio Series Rise of Beast Bumblebee, I still do not, do not know why they did not paint that blade, um, but, um, but you know, uh, for retail, it's, not too bad. Um, I think she does look cool, um, even in the uh, the robot mode. Um, but that's kind of where some of my flaws, you know, some of the flaws come into play here for me at least. Um, mainly the shoulders. The the way they did that was bad. They they really you know need to kind of look through again and 
see if there's a better way they can have that. Um, you know, uh, and they're just a little too far back as well, and, you know, um, the, the, the paint job, even the row mode's pretty good. Uh, the head sculpt is really good. I, you know, that's probably one of my favorite parts about the figure. Um, I'd say, yeah, this figure's not as bad as I thought, or, I mean, I mean, when I saw it, I don't think it was that bad. I didn't think it was that bad. Like, I'm like, okay, it looks better than some people are saying, but it's, I mean, I wasn't sure. And after getting her, I'm still not 100% sure. Um, I'd say that the all mode's good. The row mode is okay. Um, yeah, it's 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 not horrible. It just could've been done better. Like really, just the arms, like the arms and especially the shoulders. Like the way they did that again was bad. You can't move the them back and stuff. The arms back. That's yeah. So overall, um, pretty decent figure. Um, you know, if you're a diehard fan of Cyberverse or the character of Shell Striker, then I guess I could recommend this one since you know she didn't get a proper figure in the, you know, the original Cyberverse line, but, um, aside from that, uh, I guess if you like this design, uh, then I guess you could get it then. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's really just a, you know, good way to tease us for Cyburn, you know, like, I think that's gonna fit this mold a lot better, because, I mean, it practically, it's, it's basically just Cyburn in, dressed up in the Shadow Striker costume. Now, why would he be dressed up in the Shadow Striker costume? I have no idea, but, um, but yeah, so, overall, pretty, pretty okay figure, um, great, great alt mode, fine, uh, roll mode, some things I like, some I don't, but, um, yeah, so anyways, guys, make sure you guys like, subscribe, comment, share for more, and comment down below what you guys think of this figure, so, anyways, guys, as always, to lol, or one.